Custom Offsets has always been a supporter of our military, police, firefighter, active duty, past service members, all of the above. We had an opportunity fall into our lap when we used a photo of a gentleman from our Lambeau Field stair climb in an email and he happened to get that email. I was very curious as to where we obtained that photo. My goal is to build this truck with 9-11 right around the corner and Mike being one of our local firefighters, it was a perfect opportunity to bring one of our local heroes in and show our support for those who risk their lives every single day. So we'll get him in here, we'll see what we can put on the truck and hopefully we can make this thing pretty cool for him. This build's gonna be fire. What does that mean? But Corey, I don't want you just tapping. Is this at the super lip? It's a lot of box. <laughs> You've got ceramic brakes. Yeah. Holy. <laughs> What size is it? Just makes less. Uh, less dust. 315, 70, 17, so like just under 35s. They're 12 and a half inch tires. What are those for width? Uh, if, you, if you go off the sidewall, they're. Those are by 12? Yeah. It's about 12, it's probably half inch left. At 12 and a half? Find it. What's the wheel? I assumed they were a 20 by 10, is what they look like. Oh, yeah. Those are like 12 wides, bro. These are 20 by 12s. So what do we need to do? So do I need to go swap these with a smaller wheel? I would put these or on a smaller 30, tire. I would put these on 33s. How did you hear about custom offsets? I, don't, I was on the email list, and um, and then I got the email that I hadn't even opened yet. Yeah. <laughs> with my picture on it, and actually, <laughs> a former student sent me a screenshot of it. And they're like, "Oh, I thought I recognized that ugly face," and I looked at it, and I'm like. I better open up that email, see what it actually says, right. and it's right. like, whoa, that's me. It made sense for the email, but I completely understand, and, and hopefully I made you understand that I understood <laughs> that if you open an email that you're not expecting your photo to be on, that you'd be like, wow! And so that's kind of what happened. I, I had asked Mike when he was on the phone what he drove, and, and he told me that he had an 08 Suburban, but he was looking at an F-150, and I told him, I said, I, I tell you what, give me a call when, uh, when you buy the F-150. And I was at softball that night. He happened to go trade it in and get it that night. It was in the driveway. So we're gonna go with like two options. If money wasn't a factor at all, and you were like, man, I'm gonna build my dream truck, what would it be? And then we'll talk about realistics. I've never really customized a four-wheel vehicle. Okay. For me personally, it would have to be more on the everyday use okay. type of modification. So sure. I like the, the beefy looking tires with Blacked out wheels. Sure. You know, my garage door opening is only seven feet tall. Yep, seven so. two. If you were like, man, I want to build my dream truck out of that truck, right? It would be, you would want a functional daily driving mm -hmm. build that you can still go into a drive through and do all that yeah, stuff. Yeah, still okay. comfortable, sure. easy enough for my two daughters, my wife, yep. and my two dogs to get into. Cool. It's something for me to look at, something that yep. when Ow, yeah. I walk away from it, I'll turn around and look at it and go, okay, I I still so, like it. So to be proud of. Yeah. Yeah, this sucks. I totally forgot about the tie rod. Does this come with your tie rod? It's you and bigger pry bars. I didn't get. I didn't get so lucky. Uh, can you stop? Oh, this. Oh yeah. Now you know what it's like. Huh? <laughs> of course, he's using all the power tools, making me look bad. Yeah. So it's worth. <laughs> Alright, you want to hop underneath and then take out the sway bar and the, uh, the cross member here? first call with the Slinger Fire Department yeah. ended up being 
a tactical situation at my daughter's middle school. Oh no. So the pager goes off and says there's a tactical situation, which means possible active shooter. So now I'm on my first call with this department and my daughter's in that building. I want to run in there. I want to cry. Right. Is my daughter okay? Everything ended up being fine. Yeah. Thankfully. Yeah, I think um, I was traumatized. So I was in, I actually lived in upstate New York when 9-11 happened. So I was in New York when that happened and like the difference between what we dealt with in New York than the remainder of the country just because of like what happened like traumatized me for life because like I was surrounded by people who's you know hundreds of people whose families were a part of you know this stuff and you just sit there and you just go man if they were a janitor for a living but these guys are superheroes you know they, they went in there and they saved so many lives. And it's just like, I don't know. What makes you want to be like, okay, I like I want to run in burning houses for a living. I just went to my local department, I don't know, 12, 13 years ago, and they put us all in gear and they mm -hmm. lit two cars on fire and then they let us play with the jaws of life and spreaders and everything else. And I'm like, why haven't I been doing this? I guess everyone has the common misconception and I'm not helping the case at all of just it being fires, but the fire department is called first for a lot of stuff. Full-time departments are fire and EMS. Okay. And so probably 85, 90% of our calls are all in the ambulance. Okay. Going to sense. an actual fire is sure. few and far between. If you didn't have guys like Mike around or, you know, police or whatever the case is, you, you know, life would be a lot different, right? You know, you don't, who do you call? Ah, yeah. If there's not the people who have the courage to go do this stuff, so. Exactly. What's the kit that's going in it? Four and a half inch Superman? Yeah. Red F-150. Fire. Fire, firefighter. I'm here all day, guys. I'm here all day. What's going on? Oh, we're all playing on our phones. Oh, nice. <laughs> now we have it. What's new? Hey! Yeah, three more times. Kind of like your array of vehicles. It's honestly kind of a perfect mashup of of what it is. You know, you have that is considered a show build. You know, banker's mm -hmm. build. So he yeah. takes it down to LTN. But I mean, it definitely is wide. You definitely probably don't want to go through like the Panda Express drive-through because <laughs> it is pretty wide. But anyway, something like this or something like that or something like that. If you were to choose one of those three, would you want? Do you like the aggressive stance? I mean, any of these tire-wise look look like something that I would choose. Okay, so pretty much to put any kind of bigger wheels and tires, generally you lift a little bit, mm -hmm. you know, or at yeah. least level or whatever the case is to make them to make them fit. Um, I kind of think for the most part, I have a really good idea of what you're thinking. Let's go back into the wheel wall. If you were to look at, I mean, are you a, are you a chrome guy? Are you a black guy? Are you a black and milled red? What What is your... Um, definitely not chrome. Yeah, for me, the the more black on the wheel, the better. Okay. Um, I'm thinking because of the the flat black decal that's mm -hmm. on the truck, mm -hmm. more of like the matte finish for the wheels. What about something like that? Yeah, I like the that finish is really nice. Also have Anthem's too. Anthem is a very functional brand. Like their mm -hmm. their their motto is built for the life outdoors. You said you want to be able to drive it every day, but do you like the kind of little bit deeper showy feel, or do you like the more functional uh, aggressive? I would, yeah, I would definitely say the more functional. Uh, the passenger side bracket goes in with the factory hardware. Yeah, I'm a, I'm a dip. Loosely attach the passenger side differential drop bracket to the frame using the factory hardware.
so we're definitely going to go a little bit wider you know to give you some of that to give you some of that stance which isn't going to affect much are you helping if we went with like a 20 by 12 and negative 44 offset on a 33 inch tire but at the end of the day i know gas mileage was a concern you're putting a little bit bigger wheels and tires you are going to lose a little bit it's yep. not going to be anything crazy um but it is going to happen at the end of the day hey you took all my lug nuts what oh <laughs> i mean even if it's stuck out a little i'm not opposed to the like the flares that can sure. be added yep. on anywho cool i think i have a super good idea uh, of what could be done and I don't know. I want to do this in a way where if you're okay with it, I'd like you to drop the truck off with us for a few days and I'll call you to pick it up and we will uh, reveal you what we believe is going to be awesome. And I hope you trust me. I don't have any reason not to right now. So <laughs> I, I, we did, my team did put your picture in an email without your consent. <laughs> It's his first built truck, the first truck he's ever had, the, 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 the first modifications he's ever done. This whole entire time that we've been waiting for parts and stuff, he's been texting me because he was panicking about what it was gonna cost. And uh, it's gonna cost him nothing. Uh, we did it for him. I want him to take the money that he was gonna pay us for the build, donate it to his fire department, go buy him barbecue, go do something cool like that, instead of giving us the money. And, uh, and I, I mocked up an invoice that's for like a penny or whatever. So when I give it to him, he'll open it and see the total and then see I, I've marked it down to a penny. I'm gonna make him give me the penny. If he doesn't have a penny, he doesn't get the truck. Lock and load, Mike is here. Have no fear. Happy Saturday. I'm pretty sure I remember everything that we talked about. I'm pretty sure I nailed this on the head. I have it in the garage, I'm going to go grab it and I'm going to bring it around, then I'll walk you through it, what we did, and uh, yeah, we hope you like it. So I'm going to go get it for you quick. You wanted it lifted, but you wanted it functional, so we went four and a half inches. And we went with a super lift kit with Bilstein rear shocks to make sure that it kept like the original ride quality. We went with the Anthem off-road wheel, the uh, satin black robes. So we went with satin black to kind of keep it matching like the stripes and whatnot across the side of the truck. Yes. Mickey Thompson makes one of the best tires in the game. But yeah, I know the whole time you were kind of like, what the hell are you doing? What are you, what are you doing? What do you got going on? So I hope you like what I picked out. Uh, yeah, that's um, beautiful. I, I think it worked out pretty much all, over, all around for everything that you wanted in, uh, in a truck. So, but last thing, I just look through that. I do need that payment in full today. What? <laughs> cool. <laughs> Thank you so much. You're welcome. I, uh, My wife's yeah. probably gonna want to drive up here and give you a hug. I think your uh, I think your story was super cool. It, it's kind of what we do. I do need the penny. Uh, I'll I'm, I'm gonna, the penny. I'm I got lots of pennies in that. Make, <laughs> give it to me. What I want you to do though, is take whatever you thought it was gonna cost or take you know some of that or whatever, either donate some to your fire department or go barbecue for those guys or do something cool like that. I'm a big barbecue guy. But yeah, man, <laughs> she's all yours. Uh, I appreciate it so much. It's, thank you, yeah. thank you. No worries. There's no way I ever would have done this by myself. Right? <laughs> Thanks for driving, my friend. Yeah, I appreciate you. <laughs> Thanks for talking me into the Lambo stair climb. Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> Look at that. We got a tip. 24 cent tip. Yeah, I'll, I'll, make, I'll, make, I'll make sure I run into uh, your QuickBooks.